Hi everyone, today is 13th of October and we are here in EMU in Seal Square where the march to support Palestine is going on. Right here behind me you can see more than 200 people who came here today and it's not only students from Palestine, it's also students from Morocco, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Libya and other countries from Turkey also who came here to support Palestinian people and especially citizens of Gaza, which is under attack and under blockade right now at this moment. Today, on this Friday, the voices of millions of people all over the world are finally heard. Palestinian solidarity marches against the blockage of Gaza and ethnical genocide are taking place across the globe. The rise of the Palestinian national movement appeared after the so-called Iron Wall was breached by Hamas militants on the 7th of October. According to officials and data as at the 15th of October, at least 1,300 people were killed in Israel from the unexpected attack by Hamas, and more than 2,300 Palestinians have been killed in Gaza due to the Israeli bombardment. In Gaza, people are being they're being violated of their human rights, as in water, electricity, um, clean water specifically, and foods. And um, they are, Allah uh, Sayyidina Muhammad, they are living in an open air prison, as where they have limited sources to everything. And as for Palestinian refugees, they are scattered all across the world, in the Middle East, in America, in Canada, parts of Europe. and. Um, no one would like to live like that. I personally wouldn't like to live like that. And we hope for one day that Palestine will be free. Okay, hello, I'm Rawan, a Palestinian refugee from Lebanon. Our idea today is to inform the world and introduce to the world what Palestine have been suffering from 75 years, and especially here at EMU because we have too many nationalities and people from different countries around the world. Uh, bombing kits is never self-defense. Uh, and uh, Palestine is not a conflict, and our problem exactly is not with Jewish people it's about the occupation because most of them they don't really have the true idea about what's happening in Palestine and I'm now 18 years old and I've watched five wars to Palestine so and the war started since 75 years I mean I just watched few of them uh, basically, it's always like that in Gaza and other country, uh, other cities in Palestine, but the people never talked about it. The World Health Organization has warned about the upcoming humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza after Israel has cut off the water and electricity supply to the entire area. The situation is getting worse by the day with the incessant airstrikes.